whatever the manufacturing or production process is happening it has to be happen it has to be done in free trade zone whatever the deductions you are claiming it is available for how many years 10 years up to 10 years you can claim your deduction goods are also allowed clearance for export under bond for the same purpose under the rule 19 of central excess rule duty free on entertainment tax there is no entertainment tax for garments a warm welcome to one and all this is your other sir here lecturing with us from first grade college the temple of excellence now we are discussing your corporate tax planning unit 5 and session 1 in this we are discussing the topic called special tax provisions the small topic actually all about theory now there are four provisions are there provisions on backward areas incentive plans and some other topics are covered in this and even those special economic zone provisions all those provisions are included in this particular topic you may expect one question for 10 marks provisions what are the provisions in respect of special economic zone what are the provisions for backward areas what are the provisions for incentive plan so these are the things we are supposed to remember in this particular topic we'll go one by one there are four provisions are there you will go one by one and we'll discuss those provisions your agenda is very simple the provisions in respect of free trade zone so first one is what free trade zone also we can call it a even special economic zone also considered in this particular topic free trade zone special provision in respect of newly established undertaking in free trade zone what are the conditions are there conditions to be satisfied to take all these provisions like first condition it must begin manufacture or production in free trade zone whatever the manufacturing or production process is happening it has to be happen it has to be done in free trade zone then it has begun or begins to manufacture or produce during previous year relevant to the assessment year so whatever we do it must be related to your previous year previous year means what your financial year then Commencing on or after 1481 in any free trade zone. Before that, we don't consider anything which has happened from 141881 will be considered. Then, commencing on or after 1494 in any software technology. Other than software technology, the date is mentioned 81. Software technology is mentioned as 1994. Hope you are clear. Next. Commencing on or after 1-4-2001 in any special economic zone. So, there are three dates are there. 81 for common, 94 for software related and 2001 in any other special economic zones. Now, condition number two. It should not be formed by transfer of old machinery. Whatever the special economic zone uh, conditions are there, provisions are there, applicable only for what? new machinery is not for forming transfer of selling of old machineries then condition number three it is not formed by the transfer to new business of machinery or plant previously used for any purpose like 20 percent of the second value machinery allowed like where in the import case of undertaking any machinery or plant or any part there of Previously used for any purpose is transferred to a new business and the total value of the machinery or plant or part so transfer does not exceed 20% of total value of the machinery. So whatever the 20% of the second value of the machinery allowed. First of all what second value of the machinery is not allowed but 20% is allowed but which with conditions. What are those conditions? like transfer to new business and the total value of the machinery or plant or part of transfer does not exceed 20 percent of the total value remember this word then condition number three what is the condition number three import machinery allowed imported from other countries import means what any other country you have imported you have taken like you are in 
India and your somebody is in Dubai, you have imported some machinery from Dubai. So whatever the imported things are there, which are allowed under this provision, but conditions are there. What is that condition? Any machinery or plant which was used outside India by any person other than the SEC shall not be regarded as machinery or plant previously used for any purpose. Like other than Indian, if anybody is already used there, then we don't consider this condition. Simple one. So no need to mug up everything. Just understand the concept and write. Then no deduction on account of depreciation in respect of such machinery. If you are claiming depreciation, then deductions will not be allowed. Condition number four. Sale consideration should be limited to India in convertible foreign exchange. Any sale construction or sale construction should be limited to it is not construction, this is consideration. I'll make it as consideration. Sale consideration should be remitted to India in convertible foreign exchange. In convertible, like you are in Singapore, so you have Singapore currency, but whenever you are remitting to India, it should be what? Convertible, it should be in Indian rupee. You have to convert and you have to forward. Condition number five, report of chartered accountant. So if you want to apply for these provisions, what you are supposed to do? You have to report of chartered accountant. Chartered accountant report you have to prepare in foreign exchange in providing the technical services outside India. In foreign exchange in providing the technical services of outside India. These are the procedures we are supposed to follow. Hope you are clear. Yes. Period and rate of deduction. What is the rate of deduction in this? Simple. Out of total income of SSC, deduction of 90% like up to now we discuss what are the conditions to claim the provisions or deduction. Now you are supposed to know that how much we can claim it as deduction? Like what we are discussing, we are discussing a topic called provisions for four things. In this, out of the total income of SSC, deduction of 90% of such profit and gain as are derived by an undertaking from the export articles or things are computer software shall be allowed. These things are allowed, whatever the 90% calculation we are talking about. Then. Rate of deduction for unit set off in special economic zone SEZ on or after 142013 shall be follows for first 10 assessment years. See, so from 2003 they have made a rule that whatever the deductions you are claiming, it is available for how many years? 10 years. Up to 10 years you can claim your deduction. Why they are giving deduction? Why they are supporting them? Very simple. They want to develop. So Indian, India, they want to develop that special economic zone. Like in Mysore, as I told you, in Mysore, compared to Bangalore, do we develop? No. Then what government will do? They will give you permission. In Mysore, you start like any companies. So if you start company first five years, you are not supposed to pay tax. Then what happens? Everybody rush to Mysore, they will start new companies so that up to five years, whatever they earn, everything goes to owner, no tax only. So these are the supportive, these are the encouragement given by government. That is called free trade zone. They call this Mysore as free trade zone. Whatever you trade for five years, no tax. Then what happens? Everybody comes to Mysore, they open their company, they will start. Similarly, they have given permission up to 10 years. Up to 10 years, don't pay tax. You run your business. Later, you start paying tax. Those are the deductions are available. This 10 years, not directly, they will give you 10 years. In that also, they will bifurcate. Like first five years, 100% profit is yours. Whatever profit you earn, you take 100%. Then next two years like up to five years is over six and seventh year sixth and seventh year 50 percent such profit gain deductible for further two so 50 percent is yours and 50 percent you pay tax on that not full on that you calculate tax so remaining balance three years for the next three consecutive 
assessment year. So much of amount not exceeding 50% of the profit is debited to P&L account of the previous year in respect of which that deduction is to be allowed and credited to the reserve account to be called as special economic zone account. Now, third year what they will do, 50% is exempted, no need to pay tax. 50% you are supposed to pay tax, yes. What about first 50%? It is exempted, but how it is exempted means you cannot use yourself. You have to keep it as a reserve. Then only it is exempted. Clear? The very simple thing is your birthday is today. I'll tell you, I'll give you one lakh rupees cash gift. What you are supposed to do, you go, uh, you normally what you will do, you take that one lakh rupee, you will spend that. But the condition is what? I'll give you one lakh rupees. The condition is one lakh you have to deposit in your bank. Then only I'll give you one lakh. Then what you will do, you will agree and you will take one lakh, you will deposit in the bank. Hope you are clear. Similarly, the government given permission, 50% profit, you keep it with you, but don't spend. Deposit in special economic zone fund. Then only it is exempted. If you don't deposit there, then it is not exempted. Hope you are clear. Good. So up to this, whatever we discussed, that is all about your free trade zone. Now we'll go for the second provision. I'll mention here, second provision. And what is this one? First provision. This is the first one, special provision in respect of free trade zone. And the second provision is all about in respect of infrastructure development. Now, infrastructure development plays an integral part of the country's growth. Like the country's growth depends on what? Infrastructure. Now, to increase such development, the IT laws have provisions for offering tax benefit to certain business involved in such activity. Like infrastructure, I'll give you a simple example. You want to purchase a new site. Site means land, plot. Now, what will you do? If somebody come and show you, I'll show you the site. If you, if you are interested, you buy. What you will do? You will go to that place. The site is like this. So, completely covered with trees. It is not clean. No road, no drainage. Nothing is there. He will show you this land. So, it is available for 5 lakh rupees. If you want, you can book. Here, some place is there. You can book for 5 lakh rupees. Will you book that? I'll give you one more example. Wait. Plain land, completely it is like it is a hill only. So nothing, no cleaning, no drainage, no road, nothing is there. So they will call you, they will ask you that it is available, take it for 5 lakh. I'll go for example number 2. Same thing. One big land. They made road also. They made road also. So similarly, they made like this. Yes, I am not good at drawing actually. Yes, so like this they have made. See, these are the road. These are the drainages and light pole is there. Trees are there, security is there. Now, the same plot is available for 5 lakh rupees. Now, which one you will buy? 100% you will go for this site only. Both are in the same place. This is completely covered with trees and something. Nothing is developed. Here everything is developed. Road is there. The measurement is there. Everything. The drainage, the electrical pole, everything is there. Phylax site, Phylax site. Which one you will go? You will go and book the plot for Phylax, this one. The reason is what? Infrastructure. Hope you got it now. What is infrastructure? Yes. Now, tax provision in respect of infrastructure development. Government wants to develop infrastructure. For that, government has given you some offers. What are those offers like? Place an integral part of country. If you want to develop India means they have to develop like this infrastructure. Now, in this under section 80IA of the Income Tax Act, there are tax deduction available for business involved in developing, maintaining or operating. Now, how do they develop like telecom services? You know that phones, 
इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर फैसिलिटी बिजनेस पार्क ए सी जेड पावर डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन जनरेशन यस पावर प्लांट रिकन्स्ट्रक्शन नैचुरल गैस डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन दीज आर कम्स एंड इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर वॉट आर द कंडीशन फॉर द क्लेमिंग डिडक्शन सी वी ऑन टू क्लेम दिस डिडक्शन वॉट आर द कंडीशन लाइक देर आर सर्टन कंडीशन फॉर इंडस्ट्रियल अंडरटेकिंग टू क्लेम डिडक्शन अंडर सेक्शन एटी आई ए विच आर दोज आई कम बैक फॉर दैट द ओनर ऑफ द इंडस्ट्रियल अंडरटेकिंग शुड बी ए सिंगल इंडियन कंपनी इट शुड बी वॉट सिंगल इंडियन कंपनी एंड द सेकेंड वन द स्टैचुटरी बॉडी लोकल अथॉरिटी आर द गवर्नमेंट शुड अप्रूव द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ द न्यू इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर फैसिलिटी द सेकेंड वन and the third one maintenance or operation of such facility should have commenced after 95 these things will be allowed when from 1995 will go for apart from these basic condition there are additional condition for specific infrastructure development like telecommunication power generation etc these are the condition you are supposed to fulfill now what are the maximum deduction you get remember 100% deduction up to 10 years up to 10 years you will get 100% deduction if you are ready to develop like that you will get tax benefit of up to 10 years 100% now like for airport island port island waterways and navigation channels gains of profit of 10 consecutive years you are not supposed to pay tax note that there are also additional exception for this specific business like the provision in respect of so up to this what we completed your second provisions we completed this is a third one backward areas backward areas comes under third provision now deduction in respect of profit and gains other than infrastructure development other than infrastructure comes under third provision which is that production and refining of mineral oil where an undertaking begins mining purpose then sorry next commercial production of mineral oil in any part of india after 97 please remember the dates because in the examination you can mention that commercial production of natural gas in the part of india next period on for which deduction is allowed and rate of deduction is 100% deduction you will get like tax provision in respect of backward areas like integrated business of handling storage transportation food grains whereas undertaking derives profit from the integrated business of handling storage and transportation of food grains shall be entitled to deduction from when 2001 now five initial assessment year 100% next next five years 30% in case of companies in case of other than companies 25% hope you got it yes the deduction shall also be allowed where an undertaking derives profit from business processing preservation packaging for these people also you will get deduction easy to remember no need to learn everything remember these numbers year point everything you are supposed to remember we'll go for the last one fourth one next one this is a provisions for exporters exporters so these are the tax provisions for exporters now so tax provision for exporters there is a fourth one tax provision tax provision for exporters how do you go for this simple one details of incentives and other relief inter alia being offered to exporter and importers are as under first one duty drawback to exporter to neutralize custom central excise duty and service tax suffered on input output services used in manufacturing and export goods so you are supposed to pay many taxes if you want to import and if you want to export like if you, if you are a new businessman you want to import something 
30 to 40 percent you are supposed to pay tax if you want to export you are supposed to give almost 30 to 40 percent tax means if 30 to 40 percent if 100 rupees is the value of the goods if you pay 40 rupees tax only whatever your profit will you do this business no you will not do this why because you are paying 40 rupees tax only balance 60 rupees cost of the asset what is the use of doing all this that is the reason there are some provisions deduction for exporters which are those like benefit are of rebate of central excise duty paid on exported goods is allowed under rule 18 of central excise 2002 then goods are also allowed clearance for export under bond for the same purpose under the rule 19 of central excise rule these are the things you are supposed to remember then refund of senvac credit whatever senvac credit is there they will refund you so that you can save your tax input and output services to manufacturer who clears a final product or intermediate product for export without payment of duty and a bond or letter of undertaking next in order to boost export in garment sector government has provided various support measures one such measure is duty free entertainment for import based on export so now one more thing for the government what government has given offer or we can call it as exemption is duty free on entertainment tax there is no entertainment tax for government so that they can run their business freely then duty exemption scheme advance authorization duty free import authorization and export promotion capital goods epcg so remember export promotion export promotion capital goods epcc so these are the schemes you have for which one tax provision for exporters similarly rebate for the whole duty paid on exercisable import granting rebate for service tax paid and allowing the holder of Vishish Krishi and Gram Udyog Yojana. These are the things. Remember why V K G U Y F M S. This one also F M S like focus market scheme. So this is the last point. Actually, I did not explain you. Section 10 A A Chapter 6 A of the Income Tax Act allows 100 percent deduction. So till now we discussed what are the provisions and exemption they have what is the percentage we did not uh, see now it is showing that 100 percent directions are allowed for the exporter and importer are also eligible for claiming this deduction these are the things you are supposed to remember hope you are clear these are the scheme available for what exporters now there are four provisions one is about free trade zone one is backward one is export and the one more we discussed is your infrastructure development so these are the topics there are only four topics you are supposed to remember so four topics you are supposed to remember minimum 10 marks you will get please spend one to two hours read again listen to this class later take a white plain paper write everything whatever you have understood so that it will be easy for you to understand clear now i'll go back to all the previous slide please take screenshot so these are the first one i have mentioned the number you should not be confused or biased conditions for first one conditions conditions these are the deductions deductions and second one second one second one third one third one third fourth one fourth 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 now this is all about your today's session hope you understood please work out please read at your home thank you